Welcome to ITU Telecom 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Satoshi Amagai, who is the President and CEO of the Mafiria Corporation. Mr. Amagai, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Good morning. I'm very honored. Good morning. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the, the buzzword here at uh, Telecom is smart digital transformation. What does smart digital transformation mean to you? Okay. Uh, of course, uh, getting smarter is good and beneficial to many people. But uh, the, other, uh, the other side of the same coin, uh, getting smarter may have some uh, potential risks, risks because getting smarter means uh, some uh, very important, precious uh, processes are done invisibly or remotely so that you cannot confirm the process by yourself. Uh, at that point, I would say our biometrics technology uh, should work to confirm uh, that people, especially the people uh, who are correctly the right persons. Right. The technology that you're developing, it, it recognizes your veins, is that right? And basically then identifies you to uh, uh, financial institution or, or to, to, uh, uh, to be able to travel or that kind of thing? Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, luckily in Japan, we have a good example. Uh, uh, I don't know if you know that, but uh, in Japan, in many, uh, in major banks, I would say over 80%, 80% of ATMs uh, incorporate vein authentication technology. So that uh, you know uh, uh, you are away from the potential uh, skimming or uh, hacking or something. And uh, uh, in, in, again, in case of Japan, uh, until recently, only vein authentication technology are uh, on ATMs, not the facial recognition or no fingerprints. That uh, uh, may mean that the vein authentication technology is uh, competitive and safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, in case of Japan, can, can I continue? Yes, please, absolutely, okay. yes. Uh, this is the uh, uh, first uh, moving prototype where our vein authentication technology is uh, included. So uh, this is a uh, uh, okay, maybe about uh, yes, we can eight, see that, eight yeah. years ago, this kind of uh, mobile phones are very popular. But on the back side, all the key components are in here. So all you have to do is just uh, grab this way, then uh, it identifies you are uh, you, uh, almost uh, by 100% accuracy. Nobody else. So n you don't need any pin codes or uh, passwords, so just just uh, put, yeah, grab this way, then uh, and, uh, almost 100 percent guarantee of uh, you are the u user. That's, that's fantastic. Right. Yes, no, that's great. Right. Unless somebody's yeah. taking your hand and <laughs> hold, <laughs> right, right, right. It, hold it that way. But uh, no, that's that's amazing. That's great. No, uh, I, and uh, are you going to be obviously looking to put that technology into more modern more modern phones as well? Exactly. Uh, of course, uh, in financial areas, not just the ATMs, but the regular uh, uh, process at the uh, bank, bank uh, uh, stores or s s offices, or even the current the trend of mobile banking, uh, you know, um, uh, guaranteeing that uh, the, that you are you exactly. is very important. So no other people, no hacking, no forgery. No copying, no faking. Yes. Uh, yeah, that, that should help. Because apparently it's quite easy to replicate, well, not easy, but it can be replicated. A fingerprint exactly. can be replicated. Exactly. So, exactly. so that, that technology isn't foolproof by any stretch of the imagination. I wanted to ask you, in terms of technical standards, what uh, technical standards are needed to build a safer and secure digital financial service? Uh, I would, uh, uh, I would uh, uh, expect uh, ITU, that the global standard organization like ITU or ISO uh, should uh, or, or will help us a lot to be well, well spread into uh, the worldwide. Uh, 
and uh, maybe with a, a standard uh, or a basic standard and some of the flexibility to fit the local areas uh, situations. And what about the, the, the barriers and challenges in terms of uh, uh, financial cryptography and data security? How, how do you think we can overcome them? Obviously, this is, this is one of them. Right. Like I said, um, maybe uh, standardization uh, is easier said than done. Because, OK, what, our, uh, unfortunately, even now, our vein technology uh, algorithm or system is not compatible with uh, another company B or company C. So that uh, uh, the, from the users of a customer's point of view, uh, you have to worry about uh, to what to select. Uh, once you select the company B's technology, that's not compatible with ours. So that's why, as I said, Maybe the global standardized non-profit third-party organization like ITU should uh, play a role as a as a you know coordinator and to to what the best uh, solution for users or customers. Yes, well, we can certainly try, obviously, and I'm sure that, say, technology such as this is, of course, to, to the benefit of everybody. So right. it. it and it would benefit everybody, of course, to have uh, standards that mean that this could be put, put, put into any uh, telephone or, right. you know, exactly. or any, uh, any ATM. Or, or, absolutely, mobile products, exactly, such as the one I'm holding right now. Uh, and, uh, I mean, we've talked about, um, essentially, what, what makes, makes, makes this, this uh, uh, different to everything else. Is it, is it unique? Is it, is it a, a unique technology, this finger vein technology? Uh, I, I should say so. Uh, compared with uh, you know, most known uh, fingerprints, uh, this technology is much, much younger. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, fingerprints has more than 100 year experiences for usage over one, one, 120 or something. But uh, in case of ours, our original technology was born in Sony uh, just, just only 20 years ago, and uh, other competitors are somewhat in the same, same case. So very young, but uh, being youngness uh, means uh, more advanced technology, I, I would say. So that's how uh, we would like to complement the area where the current biometrics uh, alternatives uh, don't cover uh, Hundred uh, percent, and we think we have the we have our own uh, room to fit into. Right, and in terms of uh, testing, obviously it's a young technology. I mean, obviously the the initial fingerprints were ink and onto uh, onto paper there. Uh, but uh, I mean, have you tested it in very cold environments? In uh, I mean, do, do, do veins react differently in different uh, temperatures, etc.? Yes, thank you for the question. Um, to be short, vein authentication technology had two big uh, uh, differentiating, uh, uh, I would say, uh, uh, advantages. One is uh, vein structure or uh, uh, blood vessels cannot be seen from outside in normal cases. That's why very hard to make a copy. Face, you can do it. Uh, fingerprint, you can do it. Even iris, you can make a copy from outside by shooting. So that's how uh, uh, making a copy or fa fake ones is most difficult. And also, because the vein uh, is located inside the body, uh, uh, very little influences from the outside conditions compared with the, uh, sorry to say this, but the fingerprints, right? Right, so uh, unless you've got Frostbite, and, and, and or unless you're dead, basically. <laughs> you said it. Yeah. You yeah, said yeah. Uh, once you you are dead. Yes. No more blood current, so uh, vein authentication can be possible. But right. uh, in other words, uh, as long as you are alive, uh, uh, even though you are faint or uh, unconscious, and uh, but uh, this can tell you are you. 
That's great. Right. And finally, I just obviously you're here attending ITU Telecom World 2017. We're here in Busan in, in the Republic of Korea. You haven't traveled too far from uh, obviously J Japan being relatively close by, but however, it is, a, it is a, a, I'm sure, an investment in time and, and everything else. I just wanted to find out from you, what's the value of attending events such as this? And uh, have you got a key message to participants here? Uh, this is a very good opportunity, a first time for me, and uh, uh, maybe a couple of things. One is uh, uh, good to know the global situation, what kind of uh, concerns or worries they have in where. And the second thing is, uh, it's a good surprise that uh, not a few people uh, 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 refer biometrics in their uh, smart ABC presentations or uh, comment making. So that's good to know. But uh, again, uh, uh, almost a very, very few people know about the vein authentication. So it's a, it's a good chance for me to introduce what uh, vein authentication technology is and uh, how our technology helps other, other people concerned. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing this with us. It's been fascinating, and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again, uh, perhaps sometime in the future. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.